after the dust settles, you find that it's just a fan. Now, you may go on to the next door, and the next door, and the next door. Whatever you see in a war, you're always going to have that kernel in your brain. But you have to really struggle to say, I was justified in doing it. I'm Nathan Lewis, and I'm a member of the Veterans Sanctuary, and this is our farm. And we farm because we need to heal, and we need to grow good food and medicine. This is one of our, one of the two greenhouses. We terrace the side and, and built some some beds along the side because it's really it's really nice all the rain comes down the side and it really focuses it in that area. We quickly learned that this would be a really nice spot to, to start because of, of mainly the community. Like you know it just it seemed to come together here. Uh, my name is Jim Murphy. Uh, just uh, retired up here two years ago from the New York City Board of Education. When I came home, I uh, sort of was uh, hiding from everything and just hanging out for a year and then ran into uh, the formation of a group called Vietnam Veterans Against the War, which helped me start to formulate why I was uh, depressed or really kind of bummed out or grieving or whatever. Veteran Sanctuary, you get up to get you eat together, you get your hands dirty together, you hang out together, you communicate. You know, I, I, I think farming is a, it's a simplistic therapy. You're in the dirt, which is real, and you're growing things, which is real, and you're benefiting from what you're growing, which is real, and you have things to give away to other people, which is real. And I think Nate's point is this is what's working for me. None of us are specifically from this county. We, our, our roots here go back to a few years after we all got back. We met in Iraq veterans against the war and <clears throat> we had a lot of roots in this area already. You do come out as anti-war automatically. A lot of people question in terms of what's wrong. If you're really pro you wouldn't feel comfortable After 9-11, I think the whole world was on our side, and we squandered that appreciation, and we made an un unconstitutional act of war. Even if you were, you know, didn't see much combat, you were still part of a machine that has wasted hundreds of thousands of lives of people. I like the idea that I don't identify with myself as a soldier anymore. I'm a farmer, or an artist, or a worker, you know, student. I want to feel like, um, you know, in the military, they train you to kill. They they give you job skills and things that are are useful in war, destructive things, and, and um, I think that's part of the the healing process for me and what could be useful for many other veterans is just learning how to, to grow things, grow food, grow medicine, use your hands for a better thing and something that's going to create life and sustain it instead of destroy it. It's like taking um, arms and instead of having these arms for war, um, they're turned and made arms for peace, like this rake. This rake is a rake of peace and organic farming. It's not a rake or a, or a gun or a cannon or a shotgun. What we do with those arms is very, very important. And so I just want to live a life from swords to plowshares and be an influence to the next generation. They know that um, you have to know good from evil to uh, be a decent citizen. Yeah, it's it's empowering to, to to figure out how to do things without a lot of money. It's 
fun to get a lot of people together and, and just start working, you know, with a, a vague goal in mind of we'll grow something here. <laughs> but it's nice, yeah. There's, there isn't closure. And when, I, when I'm speaking to a young vet that's messed up, I just say, you know, if you're, if you're a social worker, you're a counselor, you're a psychologist, says that uh, you can find closure, you have my permission to smack her. Because there is no closure. But the other thing that I reiterate over and over again is this negative experiences in your life can become the most empowering part of you.